What's up, Paracruise? I'm Paradomics, and welcome back to the Boogie Man. So, anyways, uh, we we solved a couple of puzzles. I mean, me, I mean the internet. And uh, next up, we're gonna go for. Wait, what the hell? After putting the code, go upstairs. Don't walk too far forward. Okay. So. Oh. Oh, shit. What happens when I go. Ah! I see now. Sacrifice detective. Well, that's not cute. Um, fuck. Well, there goes my first death. Oh, uh, well, hey, internet, what's up with that? Don't walk too forward. Navigate the suits. Never stand in front of one or you'll die. Ah, okay. Thanks for not putting that before. You know, walking too forward doesn't really give you much. Okay, so, don't, don't walk, don't walk in front of one or you're gonna chop chop to the head okay so okay seems to be pretty easy yeah it's easy okay I did it what's this click for happy ending I want to get the best ending you know armor range look at the black oh, wait, what look at the black no, not the black look at the painting in the back you can push the suit just below just below it to safely reach it what wait there's a suit here I mean, there's a painting here. Oh. But I can push one of these suits, right? Yeah. Why can't we move all of them? That doesn't seem fair that I can move this specific one. Okay. It's three swords... Pointing... I don't get that. What was that supposed to hit? Oh, oh, with the wrench hammer. Wait, no, that didn't make sense. Uh, after seeing the painting, push the three swords. What? Three of the armors. Wait, what? Three of the armor surrounds face a tile. When you step on it, they'll swing their swords to the floor. After seeing the painting, Push those three armors forward so they'll strike the tile. Get the bit key. Huh. Three of the arm three of the armors surround and face a single tile. What? Rusty padlock. Oh, is it this one? Oh, wait, wait, I think it's this one. Yeah, here we go. Oh, nice. There's something in the broken stone. Got the bit key. How, how was, <laughs> how were you supposed to know that? I mean, yeah, you you knew that you can push the armors, but how are you supposed to get that? Like three swords, three swords uh, crossing a path, crossing with each other. That doesn't even look. That doesn't even match with what the sword is. Okay, that guy in front of me is pointing the correct direction, but the other two aren't even pointing at the same direction. They're pointing downwards. Wait, wasn't that the painting? Yeah, the the swords are pointing upwards. This is, <laughs> this is a bit. Oh god, I almost walked straight towards my death there. How are you supposed to know that? And that's for the happy ending. What? In the room of the green graffiti, use the wrench hammer to get the axe off the wall. Okay. Wait. And proceed to the cell for a scene. Oh, is this the cell? No, it's not the cell. Oh fuck. Okay, what's this? Uh open the left Open the oh look at the left door. Ah Ah so with anything with rusty padlock I can use the wrench hammer to beat the shit out of it. Okay. Old fashioned cell. Well good thing we have an old fashioned bit key. 
Alright, baby. I'm gonna save because God knows this might be a death scene. The permanent stock can't be removed. Are you sure? Oh. Elena. Elena. Keith? Keith, are you okay? Are you Waif hurt? Waifu, I'm fine. Just had a little blood splatter all over my face and probably got my head chopped off in a previous dimension, but other than that, I'm okay. I'm fine. What about you? Keith, Keith, thank goodness, thank goodness. Aw. Helena, your leg's wounded. Hold on, I'll get over there. Yeah, climb up the fence, man. Keith. I'm fine. I'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, why are you walking back and shaking while saying that? That sounds like the exact opposite of being fine. And something to not worry about. Helena? Wait, Helena. I'll be right there. Don't move from that spot. Yeah, don't move from that spot. And I'll uh, reject this call that's being called upon me. I'm fine. I swear. No, you're not fine. I'll be fine. You, you keep saying that, but it doesn't sound like it. Wait for me, Keith. I'll... Don't worry. I'll... Don't you run away. Run. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why? Why? Why are you running away from me? Oh, they better not... Oh, wait. Yeah, that was always open. They better not do this bullshit where I'm the boogeyman when clearly we saw the boogeyman in front of us. Or maybe we were the boogeyman and then we just witnessed the boogeyman through hallucination and all that, you know? Wine. Oh. Wine this bitch. Uh. What's this? Yeah, now we got an axe. An old axe. This one's running on the wall. Pop quiz, do you know what boogie is made of? B O G N E. B O G I N E. Okay. Alright. So, what do I do to the axe? Alright, enter the door in the next hallway to find Lance. To save Lance, use the axe three times to get the restraint crane free. Everything else is red herring and unimportant for the time being. The code for the hidden panel is 12111 though. Okay. Lance! Oh my god! Lance! D d detective Hey, save me already, damn it! Untie these things! If you want them off that bad, you should have asked me, Lance. Oh. Hey, hurry up. Save me, please. Hey there, detective. Whoa there, don't move a muscle. You have to give the bad guy a chance to say some lines. Well, I don't wanna. Fuck that st stereotrope. Hurry, Keith, get me out of here. Shout what Lance. a noisy pest you are, Lance. Already forgotten your punishment for howling like that before? Huh? Bad dog. <laughs> Don't move. I already said that, didn't I? If you ask me, detective, photographers are just the worst people in the whole world. They capture the world in their lens and tell the world that this is reality. But it isn't, is it? Reality has pain, it has suffering, and most importantly, it has fear. Yeah, I like Batman. The public sees this world you're fighting against in a distorted form, thanks to these wretched photographers. So now, I'm thinking this coward should be taught what real pain is like. 
good idea, don't you think? Maybe. Now, Lance, you seem like a coward who can only see reality through a lens. So I'll take a photo for you. And I'll put that photo in a frame. Hang it up, play some flowers, and pray. On the anniversary of your death. Oh no. Smile for the camera, Lance. Oh no. Fuck. Uh, hi. It seems like you need a key. Oh shit. Uh. This? I need to break through it. Oh fuck. Um. Uh, okay, bust through that. Here's Johnny. Oh god, we gotta do this again. Oh, I like how it's not passing through when I use the menu and when it goes black screen. Okay. Restrain crane and free him. Uh, where's the restraint key? Is this it? I'll stop the bleeding. <sighs> what a crappy photo. This is why I hate taking pics of people. You're welcome. Damn it. Why'd this happen to me? Freaking out and howling. What a loser I am. Well, I'm glad you know. Your life was in danger. I'd be worried if you weren't frightened. <laughs> and what would you know, huh? When I was new to my job, I got shot in the leg. I lost my cool and screamed, and my boss at the time punched me. Told me that if I freaked out, nobody would trust me. Why are you here, Lance? Yeah, you kinda look like me with that same hairdo except you have a ponytail in the end. Oh, hell if I know. I nodded off on the sofa and then, uh, woke up all tied up. Oh. You didn't notice being transported here? I said I was sleeping, didn't I? I'll tell you what I know. Heavy that man's kidnapped slippers. everyone who was on the tour. I haven't found any of them yet, besides you. That's a lie. We found Helena first. Brendan, Stevie, and the employees were all killed. Huh? Killed? I slept from 9 to about midnight. Around 12.05, the man decapitated Brendan. Oh no. Oh, how did I know at this specific time? Stevie died around 12.20. He was tied to a chair, cut open from his neck down to his back. He was left there immobile until he died of blood loss. Judging from the amount of blood and how much it had dried, the wound was probably inflicted about 30 minutes before I found him. Yeah, that's a, that's a very nice observation, Detective, but can we just can we just say he just died right away? He just died? He's se seriously dead? Well, he was still hanging by a thread by the time I arrived. Wasn't there some way to save him? I'm not a doctor. Even if I were, he'd lost too much blood. Yeah. You don't need to be a doctor to know if someone's lost so much blood. Hell, they even painted words out of it. So you just stood in front of dying Stevie, calculating his time of death? Or what would you do? Take a picture of his death? <sighs> don't harp on every detail. <laughs> Lance, the guy stand. Was... I'm going to look for the others. You come with me. I can't leave you alone. And hey, what if I can't stand, huh? I'll carry you. Uh, uh, give me a break. Hey, go look for the others if you want, but don't you think it'd be faster to nail that guy down first? Leaving him alone is downright dangerous. This is a hostage situation. Who knows how many others are being slowly killed like Stevie. Catching him is pointless if we can't guarantee everyone's safety. He's already killed several people. I'm playing catch up at this point. I can't suffer any more careless losses. Losses? Huh, that what you call murders. Quiet, stop hounding me. That kind of thing gets the attention of civil liberty groups. Huh? Let's go. Rescue mission one. I got Lance Canal. 
Oh, he's just right behind me. All right. So what do I do with this now? What do I do with this asshole? Everything's red herring. Or unimportant for the time being. Uh, the code is... The code for the hidden panel is 112 though. Really? So is that... Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. He's injured, so... I have to walk slower for him. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Searching with Lance. After saving Lance, or during, knock down the shelves... Iron. Wait, knock down the shelves and take the iron plate on the left that comes loose. Uh, what? Wait, so going back here? Oh. Oh. Give me a kiss of love. Ugh. How are you supposed to figure that out? <laughs> All right. Continue down the hall outside where Lan, where Lan, the room outside where Lance was until you reach the L shape. Wait, what? Continue down outside the oh oh just continue down outside the room. So basically, just continue down here till you reach outside. If you go down the hallway, you'll be shot at. So use the iron plate anywhere in the room. Oh 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 oh! I, di I didn't take the iron plate with me. Alright, I got an iron plate, so I can use that. So, what's this? Uh, continue down the hall until you reach the L shape. Going to the left. If you go down the hallway, you'll be shot at. You still use the iron plate anywhere in the room. Grab the doll from the side or behind. Wait, what? Oh, so if I go down here. Oh no. You do what you want. Just just do what you want. Just do what you always do. Oh, the eagle. I don't get it. Just grab the doll from the side or behind. If I could continue down the hallway, I'll be shot at. Use the iron plate anywhere in the room. Lance, look down that hallway. Oh. You mean that doll in the wheelchair? Oh, it's got a gun. I don't know how the thing works, but we'll be <laughs> gunned down if we're not careful. Thanks to so, this guy. You be the target for a second. <laughs> Say what? You want me dead, man? Just stand on that end and block the bullets with this plate. Even a wounded man can manage that much. I'll take care of the doll while you're doing that. Do you realize how stupid that sounds? We'll both die if we're not careful. Then be careful. You've got the physique to hide behind a shield. Get in there and don't get shot. Yeah, simple. Is that a no? Fine, I'll do this myself. Stand back and watch, you chicken. <laughs> hey! <laughs> don't scream in my ear. Alright, I'll be your stupid target. You better be able to handle that doll. And you never call me chicken again. You got that, you damn detective? If you sure. say so. I appreciate it. Always grateful to have a good citizen's aid. <laughs> Go. Oh shit. Got him. Why, you. You loose cannon. What were you planning to do if I got shot? <laughs> Let's move. Okay. Top of the lock him up. 
And the gun's in pieces. What? How did we throw the doll all the way across there? A disturbing statue of graffiti scrawled in its face. Oh, fuck. Give me your tender kiss. Oh, fuck no. Fuck no. Is that a trap? Please tell me that's a trap. Continue to... Until you reach the second floor passage again, enter a wound mounted animal. To get some information for lambs. Okay, let me just save. Use lock from behind. Okay. Where is this? Oh, this is the. Not going in? If you want to puke, go right ahead. But I'm not going to be the one to clean it up. Oh, no. Clean up. <laughs> on aisle 5. Okay, so we gotta go to the animal area. What is this? Can't go with lands in rooms of, with corpses. But that's bullshit! Oh my god. Okay, so... Belgian Shepherd, huh? That brings me back. Isn't it a wolf? Similar, but nah. Lived on a farm in Montana when I was a kid. There were tons of these guys. They're sheepdogs. Oh. Oh, and the hint here says... Get the lamps far away from the big bad predator as far as you can. Keep them safe behind your back. Oh. Push the sheep behind the dog all the way to the wall on the right. Okay. So I just keep them all there. Alright. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Did I win? Push the sheep dog all the way. Push the sheep behind the dog all the way to the right wall. The coward facing on top right. My ball is line with the dog. And the fool facing down is. Wait, what? The coward is fi wait from the bottom top. Wait, so the coward is facing right, is on the top. Oh, so I'm supposed to push the sheep in such a specific order. Oh, fu I fucked up the sheep. Well, it says all the way to the right wall, so. Is at the below and align the fool facing down. Wait, the fool facing down is below the rebel. Rebel is below it. Why can't you just do simple words? Like the sheep facing right is at the top and the f sheep facing left is be is is in the middle and then this one's on the right. Oh, nice, you got a gun. Got a pastel. All right. The position should look like this. I like how they did that and didn't even bother showing a picture of that. All right. So, anyways, I'm gonna say end the video here, and we're gonna continue this, continue this one in the next one. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.